Hello, and welcome to Emergency Insights. I'm your host, James Carter. Today, we're looking into rivastigmine, a medication we encounter in long-term care and neurology. Rivastigmine, brand name Exelon, is a crucial tool in our pharmacologic toolkit for managing certain types of dementia. As we know, dementia management is multifaceted, but pharmacotherapy plays a key role in symptomatic control. Rivastigmine is a cholinesterase inhibitor indicated for the treatment of mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease dementia. Its primary mechanism of action is to reversibly inhibit both acetylcholinesterase and butyryl cholinesterase. By doing so, it effectively increases the levels of acetylcholine in the brain. This augmentation of acetylcholine, a vital neurotransmitter, improves neural signaling, which in turn helps to delay the progression of symptoms and improve cognitive function. It's important to stress to patients and their families that this medication is not a cure and does not alter the underlying course of the disease. Rather, it's a symptomatic treatment. Rivastigmine is available in several dosage forms, providing flexibility for different patient needs. We have the oral solution, capsules, and the transdermal patch. The typical starting oral dose is 1.5 mg administered twice daily. This dose is then carefully titrated, usually every two weeks, based on patient tolerance and therapeutic response. The transdermal patch is a particularly valuable option, especially for patients who may struggle with adherence to an oral regimen or who experience significant gastrointestinal side effects. It's often associated with fewer instances of nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which are common adverse effects of the oral forms. This improved tolerability can significantly enhance patient compliance and quality of life. From a pharmacokinetic standpoint, the transdermal patch provides a steady state, reaching its peak blood concentration in approximately 10 to 16 hours. The drug has low protein binding, around 40%, and importantly, it effectively crosses the blood-brain barrier to exert its therapeutic effect. Its metabolites are rapidly excreted via the kidneys, with very little of the unchanged drug found in the urine. As with any medication, we must be vigilant for side effects. The most commonly reported ones include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of appetite, and weight loss. Again, the patch formulation has been shown to mitigate many of these GI-related issues. A note on a specific patient population. For pregnant patients, the safety of rivastigmine has not been established, therefore it should only be used if the potential benefits are deemed to outweigh the potential risks. Rivastigmine overdose presents with pronounced cholinergic symptoms such as excessive nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, salivation, sweating, bradycardia, muscle weakness, respiratory depression, and in severe cases, convulsions and shock. Management requires immediate discontinuation of rivastigmine and withholding further doses for at least 24 hours. Supportive care should be initiated, including airway protection, intravenous fluids for dehydration, and antiemetics for gastrointestinal symptoms. Atropine, initial dose 0.03 mg per kilogram IV, is indicated for significant muscarinic effects, such as bradycardia. Dosing may be repeated based on clinical need. Scopolamine is contraindicated due to its strong CNS effect. Continuous monitoring and symptomatic treatment are recommended. Referral to hospital is advised for all suspected cases. In summary, rivastigmine is a cornerstone for the symptomatic management of mild to moderate dementia in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. While it does not halt or reverse the disease, it can meaningfully improve symptoms and cognitive function. Our role as healthcare providers is to monitor dosing carefully, manage potential side effects, and educate our patients and their caregivers on its benefits and limitations. Thank you for tuning in to Emergency Insights. I'm James Carter.